Hey, how's it going? This is Kevin with Moonlight Entertainment. Uh, today I'm going to talk to you guys about the Pinpoint Go Pack by American DJ. Um, it's a really cool light. It's something new that they're offering. It's a wireless battery powered LED pin spot. It has 3 watt cool white LED. It has a spot with a 5 degree beam angle. It includes a magnetic bracket for easy, quick, and installs on metal simply. Included is a frost filter, also includes a red, blue, blue green, and color filter. The GoPack also comes with the wireless LED RC3 remote control. Uh, battery charge or charge time on this light is 4.5 hours. That RC3 control that it comes with, this is the pack over here. I just pulled it out of the pack, is this little thing right here. And a lot of you guys have seen these. It allows you to control your lights wireless. But in this light right here, it is just a battery charge light. And what's cool about it is you can have these pin spots on. Say you want to black them out until your event begins, you just hit black out. Uh, you can strobe with these as well. Uh, you can get these pinpoints also as a pinpoint RGB, which gives you all the different colors that you can cycle through with this. Or you can get the pinpoint TW, which gives you like a, a, a white and also like a true white and kind of an amberish color and you can change the tint of those. And that, that's really nice if you want a different effect than just pure white. The Pinpoint Go Pack is mainly just white, um, which is what I bought. And I also bought two of the Pinpoint TWs, which I should get probably the next couple of days. They're on their way. Um, I really like these lights a lot. I had the pleasure of you know, working a gig with Brandon Stewart and seeing these lights in action. And man, they're fabulous. Uh, I knew right away that I had to have some. So as soon as I got home, I placed an order. Uh, probably one of the first few people to have these lights. So I want to make sure to do a little demonstration on these for you guys. Uh, the other thing is that these lights at, at full capacity will run for 7.5 hours. Uh, if you run them in energy savings mode, in your energy saving mode, they'll run for up to about 11 hours off a of full charge. Uh, the lights weigh approximately one pound, so they're really light. Uh, what I'd like to do now is go over a little bit about the lights. Uh, take one of these out right here. As you can see, I'm going to show you a close-up. This light has a magnetic base on it, which is really cool because uh, I can take these lights, as I'm going to show you in just a few minutes, and I can attach these to like an AC vent. Uh, and then you can adjust it right here. You can turn this little wheel here and you can angle it however you want to angle it to you know pin spot whatever you're trying to pin spot uh, the cool thing about these lights also is that they're great for architectural pin spotting they're great for cakes pin spotting they're great for uh, table pin spotting you know even photographers this light would come in really handy let's say you have a studio uh, being a photographer myself I could see how this could come in handy because you can have a studio and have your pictures on the wall and you can pin spot certain pictures so when a client comes over it grabs their attention they see that awesome portrait of that you know beautiful bride on the wall and and it just draws people's attention to that kind of thing so you can also use these lights in retail stores if you want to pin spot a certain product that you have for sale portraits on the wall or you have flower arrangements that you want to sell uh, you know that's another thing at weddings you can pin spot floral arrangements i mean it's awesome on floral arrangements all right, a couple more things I'm gonna show you about this light is on the back here. I'm trying to get as close up as I can. It's got your on and off switch here. You have your mode button here, which you can push and it changes the light where you can make this light. Let me show you, let's see, there you go. It's a pretty bright light. So when I turn it on, right now it's on like a full beam, but it's at 15 degree beam angle because I have a frost filter on it. Um, what I can do now is I can hit the mode button and I can reduce the amount of light that's coming up. So if you want a soft light, you can reduce it all the way down to practically nothing, and then it turns off. There it goes, now it's off. Or you can make it do kind of a weird looking little strobe if you want. Um, and again, it goes back to full beam. And again, you just turn it off. It also has your AC in right here so that you can charge the light or you can put it on, you know, power if your battery's dead, you can just plug it in. If you got a, you know, 120 plug source available to you. Um, let's see, the other cool thing about this light is it has this little ring. Let's see, you see that ring inside there? What you do is it's got little two little places right here. You just kind of grab it right here and it pops out. And 
it's just got this little metal ring which kind of holds the frost filter in place. So let's just show you. That's the frost filter. You see that little slit in the bottom down here? Well, it's got that little sensor right there. So what you do is you just stick this in here, back over this little sensor, stick it in there like that. It's kind of hard to do. Show you guys at the same time, but I'm gonna do my best. Stick it back in here like this. All right, let's put the ring back down in there like that. Locks it back in place. Got your ring back in there. And if you want to take the frost filter out, it goes to a five degree beam angle, which is really good for if you want to do a real tight beam, a real tight spot. If you have to throw a long distance and you want to be able to shoot it from, a, you have to shoot it from a long ways away to get from an AC vent to a cake or whatever, take the frost filter off, you won't have any problem. All right, one more cool feature about this slide is it has these brackets on the bottom of them. I took three of mine off because I'm gonna show y'all something in a second that doesn't require it but here's one that still has the bracket on it as you can see right there let's see if i can get you this angle there it's got that bracket already on there and you see how it's got like the little grooves so you can attach it to something what that's for is I'll give you a close-up of my computer screen here it's an acoustic ceiling that is made to fit on those brackets on the acoustic ceiling right there so it can come in really handy because you can clamp that on there. Um, it may even attach by the magnet, but if it doesn't, you just clamp it on there with this little, you know, with this little bracket, and you're good to go. So that's cool too. You have, you know, several ways to mount this light, or you can attach this light even to a, you know, to a stand if you want. Uh, just many ways and many functionalities of this light to achieve, you know, your ultimate go goal of being able to pin spot whatever item you're after. All right, more to come. All right, I'm going to demonstrate these lights in my house. This is the floor arrangement on top of our fireplace on our mantle. And I'm going to show you right up here on this AC vent. You'll see I got one of those lights using the magnet attached to the AC vent pointed right at that flower arrangement. And again, over here, as you can see right here, I've got another one pointed right at that same arrangement. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk over here and turn off those lights. Alright, turn off the lights now. And it's pretty dark. So I'm going to walk over here with this remote that came with my Pinpoint Go Pack by American DJ. And I'm going to turn on that light right there. As you can see I just turned it on. I'll turn it off again. Turn it on using the remote. And I got another light over here so I'm going to hit blackout, turn that one on. Voila! And check out that arrangement. So, how cool is that? Think about that. You can use that for flower arrangements on bride's tables, groom's, you know, bride and groom's table. Uh, you can use this on, you know, any table for that matter. You can use this in stores that have arrangements at flower shops that they want to show off. You can use this in so many different applications. I've got one pinpoint on that picture over there of my daughter playing a guitar. And now I'm going to show you what it looks like with the pinpoint. How, you know, photographers can use this to, to uh, spotlight their work in their studio. I mean, how cool is that? Look at how bright that looks. Now I'm going to turn off that pinpoint light that I have shining at that. See the difference? Look at that. That's a huge difference. Thanks for watching. Again, my name is Kevin with Moonlight Entertainment. If you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel down below. If you've got any questions, drop me a comment. I'm glad to answer them the best if I can. You guys have a great day. Rock on.